The year is 1977. It's an overcast October day in Lyndhurst, and Danny Green has just finished a dentist appointment. As he approaches his car, he knows to be careful. He's a walking target. But on this day, he is not careful enough. A bomb, hidden inside the car park next to his, explodes. And a young FBI agent named Bob Frederick gets a call from his supervisor. They had already identified that the plate was a, a vehicle registered to uh, Keith Ritson. And so they figured that Keith Ritson, who was an organized crime figure associated with Danny Green, would, had been the one that was killed. So when I got there, I said to them, let me see the body. And he pulled the sheet off the body there, and I said, that's not Ritson, that's Danny Green. While Frederick is retired now, he remembers his FBI days vividly, especially his first case, the notorious Irishman, Danny Green. My first impression of Green was I kind of thought he was funny, you know, he's a character. And then, it got, and then it got to the point where I said, no, this guy's a killer. He's killing people, and this isn't right. Over a two-year stretch, there are 37 bombings in Cuyahoga County. The FBI estimates that Green is involved in three of every four of them. Green grew up in Collinwood, eventually finding work on Cleveland's docks as a longshoreman. Later, he built a relationship with Shonda Burns, a Jewish mobster, and one of Cleveland's most notorious racketeers. Author Rick Perello says at first, Green was Burns enforcer. He was responsible for doing the heavy work, intimidating people, maybe throwing a stick of dynamite to uh, basically get someone to go along with what Chandra Burns was doing. But later their relationship began to sour. Green wanted to control the city's criminal operations and the Italians were not having it. Car bombs were the weapon of choice. And in March 1975, Burns became the target. Holy Saturday, the Saturday before Easter Sunday, uh, at West 25th in Detroit, Chandra Burns was killed in a car bombing. Green had declared war on the Italians, and Cleveland was earning its nickname, Bomb City USA. A month later, another explosion, this time at Green's own apartment in Collinwood. Danny Green and his young girlfriend who were in there, pretty much they walked away unscathed. But as we know from Scarface, every dog has his day, and Danny Green would have his on October 6th. 1977. Danny Green also challenging the mob leadership, blown up in a parking lot in Lyndhurst. But Green's murder is not how the story ends. Bob Frederick made sure of it. I had gotten the registrations for the two cars, the bomb car and the getaway car, and all of a sudden it, it hit me that the, the renewal sticker had the same was a, a one in sequence, the two numbers about jumped out of my seat. So we ran down to the uh, BMV there and they said, yeah, this had to be registered by the same guy at the same time. It meant the bomb car and the getaway car were connected. A few weeks later, Green's killer would talk and that confession would cause a ripple effect on organized crime in Cleveland and across the country. That part of the story next Thursday at 11 on What's Next. Rachel Polanski, Ray News.